what's cracking nap town so I just got a baritone guitar and if you know me in real life man I I probably already been talking your ear off about this baritone guitar but um I'm hyped I just I just drove up to Fisher's played it for like you know 10 seconds on a guy's front porch and bought it it's got a ding in it I don't give a shit I'm gonna I want to rip off the I'm gonna rip off the whole pit guard, you know what I mean? So, so I can't even tell you how hyped I am right now. I mean, I might not look like it, but I am unnaturally hyped right now. It's it's the equivalent of if a if a video game was coming out tomorrow with like ten thousand people in the same room and it was going to be the most chaotic thing that ever existed i'm that level of hype so i i bought it brought it home haven't played it yet i want to get some thoughts down you know what i mean there's not very much baritone guitar content on youtube and so i'm gonna I'm gonna try to put together a little series here to give people an idea about what this damn thing's about because I hear people say weird things about it. People have all kinds of theories about it. Nobody's really, nobody's really playing it a lot and talking about what they think. It's, it's hard to, it's hard to get a handle on what the hell that machine's gonna feel like. You know what I mean? So. So first of all, my, uh, my expectations and my concerns. My expectations are largely based on how I think this is going to put me into, oh, I'm messing up the whole thing. How I think this is going to put me into a more appropriate register for modern music. Like, Modern music has moved down. That's all there is to it. You can't say that the bass lines in 2019 are even similar to the bass lines in, in 1993. So, I, like, all music has moved down. And the modern trap era has, has maybe even pushed that further than before. This baritone guitar is going to take away my high string and give me another lower string. And so the whole reason I wanted it in the first place was so I could play Leo P bass lines, man. He plays that baritone sax like a god. And I want to be able to play those bass lines. And my man is on another level. So, now that I've got a baritone guitar, that lower string's gonna be B flat, and that baritone sax's gonna be B flat, and I'm gonna do my best to cover too many zoo songs on my own. Long-term goals, baby. Like, that's not gonna happen tomorrow, but it's gonna happen. Like, I'm gonna have Leo P's part, I'm gonna have Matt Doe's part, probably not the King of Sludge. It's kind of a shame, right? King Sludge from Indy, I think. Anyway, my concern is it's not going to be loud enough. Like, it's uh, it, it's a lower register. The the high strings on that guitar really sing through, but but making the lowest string your B, you're not going to get as, get as much squeal. You're not going to get as much high end to break through those low parts. You're going to get a lot of mud. If you play more than a harmonic interval on the low end, I, I'm hyped, and I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to go inside right now, and I'm going to tune this damn thing up, and I'm going to see what it's all about, man. I've got a baritone guitar. This is episode zero. Baritone guitar incoming. Baby! Okay, okay. Choose your mistakes wisely. <laughs>